What's up everyone? My name's Roshni and welcome back to Beji Grew Up. So I'm here today to talk about meditation and some different meditation techniques and really just to bust some myths about meditation um, because it does really offer you so many great benefits and I'm sure a lot of you who are interested in meditation know um, about you know, all the different ways that it can benefit you in terms of your body, your mind, your focus. Um, but a lot of the way that we think about meditation has stayed really stagnant and it makes it a little bit harder to commit to the practice when you just have to sit there in complete silence. And that definitely is a great form of meditation, but there are so many different kinds of meditation out there. So I really wanted to um, open up this conversation a little bit and just talk about different ways that we can practice meditation. Because some of these definitely help you meditate for a little bit longer, it is definitely worth exploring and looking into. Um, so something that I wanna talk about today related to um, listening to your intuition and finding ways to practice what um, your intuition looks and sounds like is actually incorporating intuition into meditation. So something that I've recently started to do is to basically to just do like a whole body scan and to find out where I hold tension. So sometimes um, when I'm really angry or anxious, I like tend to grind down with my teeth or just like clench my jaw really really hard um sometimes when i am just really dreading something or you know i'm really not looking forward to something and i'm socially anxious and just you know uncomfortable i feel that you know right in the pit of my stomach the reason that i bring this up is basically to Get yourself into a meditative space, light some candles, you can do this on your bed, you can do it anywhere where you feel comfortable and where you're not going to feel completely out of your element. Um, find a comfortable seated position, so cross-legged with your feet out in front of you, whatever feels good to you, and then just start doing a body scan. Scanning your body, finding where you know you hold tension or maybe where you hold trauma from a past event, and really setting the intention of creating an affirmation that's the opposite of that and is more akin to what you want to aspire to, what you want to be. So in my um, case, that's being open-hearted and open-minded and just kind of light and free. It's easier to just show you than to describe it. So um, what I'll do is I'll, you know, start my meditation practice, take a few deep breaths, and then I actually just start massaging my jaw and I say, I am open-hearted and open-minded. I am open-hearted and open-minded. So the reason that I picked that phrase is because A, it just kind of um, came to me, but B, I realized that when I was clenching down my, my jaw especially, it was when I felt really isolated, it was when I felt out of control, um, and it was when I felt kind of on the outside. I felt excluded from things, um, and that's when I really would just kind of like bite down and really cause a lot of tension in here. What I really wanted to manifest through this part of my body was remember was remembering to stay open, to stay light, um, and so the phrase, I am open-hearted and open-minded just came to me. And so combining it with my meditation practice and keeping my vocal cords busy, keeping my mind busy by focusing on that thought and just moving or swaying a little back and forth or creating some sort of like rhythm to it um, really speaks well to my body and helps me concentrate and stay there for much longer. Um, so I really encourage you to try it. Um, scan your body for where you have um, a lot of tension or a lot of stress or a lot of emotional buildup. And not only does this help you kind of create that mind-body connection and see where in your body your emotions are manifesting, but you can actually start actively doing work that completely helps you um, shift this process and instead uses your intuition, your knowledge of your own body to create changes and shifts in how you see yourself um, so that you can both benefit from affirmations and meditation. So this is something that's completely intuitive, something that you can't go wrong with. So definitely try and experiment as much as you can. Let me know in the comments below where you hold tension because I'm actually really interested to know if we all hold it in a similar place or if our emotions are all, if certain emotions are manifested in certain body parts or if it all is just kind of a person to person thing. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to check out my 
really awesome blog post on intuition and how to listen to your intuition, how to connect to it more. I talked about some completely different tactics and strategies that I mentioned in this video over on BetiGrewUp.com, which I will link down below. So thank you so much for watching. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week on Self-Care Sunday. Bye!